Greetings everyone, P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Ranking the Albums. Today we're going to take a look at the very short discography of a cool British blues rock band called Steam Hammer. So this is, uh, this is a band that I had on my long list to do, but we had a couple people who asked about it in recent days. So I figured, you know what, let's kind of move this a little bit ahead of the line, right? So uh, we're only talking about four albums. Uh, band really only in existence for a very short couple of years. I mean, we're looking at, what, like three years, four tops, right? Not long at all. Um, so let's jump right in. I'm going to start on my number four and work my way to my number one. So do want to mention that these guys were actually a Freddie King's uh, backup band. That's kind of how they got their start. So uh, firmly rooted in the blues, right? So their first, uh, my number four is actually going to be their second album from 1969. It's just called uh, Steam Hammer Mark II. There's the Mark II. I know we had a bunch of questions from people. It's like, well, Pete, did, was Deep Purple the only band that ever used the whole Mark thing uh, to, you know, kind of convey all the different lineups? Uh, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with that or whether it's just there's could they title it because it's their second album? I don't know, but there were lots of lineup changes between the first and second album, so I guess Mark II just does make sense. Uh, you have uh, some additional new people in the band, right? Some people come and some people go, and they got a, a guy that plays uh, sax and flute, you know, reeds and horns on this particular album, uh, brings in a lot of jazz and psychedelic elements into the band, uh, you, know, so, you know, with the sax and flute all over the place. It's a very jazzy album. Probably they're easily the most laid-back album. Less guitar oriented there are other albums right but still pretty good uh you've got the 16 plus minute uh, another traveling tune which is full of tasty blues and jack uh, blues and jazz rock jams uh so if, if you it, for me it's the highlight of the album easily the best track and it's one of the things that this band did pretty well they like to jam they were pretty jammy uh so that's like one of the most adventurous tunes on here you know lots of guitar solos and flute and sax solos a little bit of bass and drums all that sort of thing uh, then you got a song called uh, junior's wailing which is a really heavy uh blues rock piece kind of like uh an odd to or a, a nod to what was going to come shortly thereafter uh the rest of the album is pretty sedate kind of jazzy kind of psychedelic to me uh this album sounds like you know mellow traffic from the same time period as well a little bit of the early grateful dead uh material but still pretty good all right so that's the album right there and i believe uh repertoire records i believe reissued all of these but uh pretty cool next up i'm gonna go with their debut also from 1969 these guys were pretty prolific in the short span of time right so that's their debut album i believe also in some territories titled reflections all right you got the kind of like the negative image of that good album good debut it's mostly a straightforward blues album um again these guys were fresh from being freddie king's backing band you can kind of tell uh not much different what you're going to hear here compared to like the early very early albums of fleetwood mac maybe chicken shack maybe the first uh 10 years after kind of album uh i've got some good songs on here down the highway really cool bluesy rocker you got the moody on your road uh 24 hours is also pretty bluesy he's got some real stinging guitars from martin Pugh, uh and great vocals from kieran white he was the singer through most of their career but good album good good british blues blues album a little bits of rock in there mostly it's a blues album but that definitely good stuff all right next up i'm gonna go to 1972 the final thing that they did called speech all right so here we the band is down to a trio all right and uh kind of moving into the progressive rock realms of course you know Prague, although not necessarily called that at the time pretty popular in 1972 so these guys uh moving into that fucking territory right a little bit um don't know why i just threw an f-bomb in there no idea anyway they moved into that territory sorry guys um Lots of jams on this album. Only three tracks. All right, three long songs. Uh, side one is Penumbra. Take The song takes up the whole side one of the LP. It's like 20 some odd minutes long. Uh, lots of kick ass soloing. Lots of guitar soloing, some bass soloing. Just a really good track. Then you got uh, Telegram on side two. Also pretty lengthy. Rocks real hard. Some great guitar riffing. Okay, and then Four Against is the last song on the album, and that's got some big, doomy guitar riffs. It's kind of really different for this band, uh, plus a drum solo. And, you know, the album itself is kind of kind of proggy. 
definitely definitely rocking all the kind of jazz things that they were doing early on pretty much gone um good guitar oriented album like i said lots of jams not a lot of vocals on the album uh, in fact though the, so, uh, they do have the singer from fuzzy duck appears to do a little vocal section on the album but uh, otherwise pretty pretty good album definitely very different i think if you're more of a fan of kind of like uh late 60s early 70s prog rock that's probably the one to start with though i think that their third album mountains from 1970 is actually the strongest i dig this album a lot this kind of like pieces together a lot of the things that uh you know this band did so well uh this is more of like a straightforward kind of blues rock album uh if you like the kind of early 70s you know heavy blues rock type of thing uh this is definitely a keeper most of the jazz and the psych elements from the previous album are long gone it's mainly you know they're mainly i think they were down to a four piece at this point so uh you know guitars vocals bass and drums uh i wouldn't have thought it's got a lot of sizzling guitar on it you got a song called Henry Lane, also pretty good rocking song with lots of jams. Uh, Walking Down the Road has some cool kind of like funky wah-wah riffs. Love the early 70s wah-wah riffing that a lot of bands did, right? You know, just crunching down on the on the crybaby, right? Or maybe it was the Vox, who knows, one or the other. Uh, the title track kind of reminds me of Blind Faith a little bit, maybe mixed with a little Wishbone Ash. It's got kind of like that folky, bluesy vibe going on nice use of acoustic and electric guitars really good then you got uh two live tracks finishes off the album here uh one's called riding on the l and n which is absolutely scorching blues rock with some killer guitar soloing from martin Pugh. what a great player this guy is uh or was and uh hold that train is the last song of the album that's also another heavy blues track um and like i said both those live uh those last two songs are live really good album um maybe kind of think of you know on this album uh you know then play on by fleetwood mac maybe um jethro tull's first couple of albums minus the flute you know just really good heavy british blues dig it quite a bit so that's uh that's my choices here on the steam hammer discography mountains kicking off number one number two is going to be speech 1972 number three their self-titled debut and number four their second album mark two if you haven't heard these and you love uh you know the whole british blues rock movement of the late 60s and early 70s i would recommend checking these out right um also kind of in a similar vein and we're going to be kind of uh diving into them fairly soon you know you got the keith hartley band all right another really really good band that didn't have a ton of albums uh, as well as the ansley dunbar retaliation we'll be covering them as well too coming up in a future episode so stay tuned for that so this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org we're on facebook we're on twitter of course we're here on youtube all the damn time remember if you like what you see here please uh, help us out with a contribution we've got a ko-fi link set up below to our ko-fi page you can uh, you know donate whatever you like whatever you know whatever amount all right it greatly helps us keep the channel going we also have a link to our merch page where you can get uh, one of these gorgeous shirts or one of the uh, the other designs as well with our regular logo they got hoodies t-shirts all different sizes we got hats we got uh, coffee mugs and stickers uh coming up on the show tonight all right Stephen reed all the way from scotland coming back on the show once again we love having Stephen on the show he's one of my right hand guys on the website and he's been doing a fantastic job here on the channel we are going to rank the catalog of the sensational alex harvey band as well as roxy music so that's coming up tonight stay tuned don't miss it uh might even squeeze another monsters den episode in tonight we're hot and heavy with the uh halloween season horror and monster film recommendations so you probably can look forward to another one of those uh chris allo also coming back on the show next week uh, he and i are going to do a special monsters den episode all on italian horror specifically focusing on the films of lucio fulci mario bava and dario argento we're each going to give one recommendation from each of those directors all right chris and i are also going to rank the catalogs of nightwish and epica martin popoff and i are going to be doing legs diamond this weekend and uh what else jack toledano's coming back on the show we haven't seen jack in a little while we're going to rank the uh studio albums of iced earth and rich catino and i are also going to be ranking the studio albums of evergrey this weekend okay great swedish power slash prog metal band uh and we're also going to get together next week and do part two of our monsters den look at hammer horror so so much stuff coming up 
so much stuff I can hardly keep up with everything but uh, I love bringing this content to you guys it's just as fun for me putting it together hopefully as you guys watching it so uh, we'll see you all real soon here on CA Tranquility take care bye bye <laughs>